Hello, this is Yans. I want to show you how you can create a basic layout for a picture package, by only using Photoshop 23. This is a 13 by 19 inch piece of paper, also known as Super A3. I'll start by creating a new layer. I'll go to the layer panel and click the plus sign. Then I'll go to the rectangle tool and click somewhere in the upper left corner of the paper. This opens up a dialog box, where I can type in 148 by 105 millimeters. Pressing OK will create a blue rectangle, since a blue color is currently present in the tool panel. The blue rectangle is the size of an A6 piece of paper. In the layer panel I can now right click on the new layer and then choose convert to smart object. The layer now shows a sign that indicates that a smart object is now present in the layer. The rectangle is meant to be a placeholder for an image in my picture package. Before duplicating the layer to create another rectangle, you must select this layer in the layer panel. Sometimes it's also necessary to click the move tool in order to activate the size handles, they are the small white boxes around the current subject. If you don't do this, the layer may not be duplicated successfully with a smart subject inside. So, I'll do this and hold down the control key while pressing J four times. This will create four new layers. Then I'll click on these layers in the opposite order and drag them down until I have all four rectangles nicely placed in the left side of my paper. I will now place the last copy in the upper right corner of my paper. In order to resize this rectangle I'll click on one of the corner handles. This will open a new line of information boxes at the top of the screen. The numbers in these boxes refer to the original rectangle one. The first box I want to change is the angle box. I'll change this to 90 degrees, which will rotate the current rectangle to a portrait orientation. Now I want to resize it. I'll go to the H or W box and change it to 70,71%. This will change the A6 size of the rectangle to an A7 size. This percentage is in fact derived from cosinus to 45 degrees and represents the size difference from one A format size to another. With the move tool active I will now move the new small rectangle a bit to the left and place it nicely next to rectangle 1. If I wanted another kind of image size I'd have to first figure out which percentages to type into the H and W boxes. I'd also need to deactivate maintain aspect ratio by clicking this button, if I wanted a different aspect ratio. Please note that the numbers in the boxes above do refer it to the original, the very first rectangle number 1, not to the current rectangle. Now, back to our A7 sized rectangle. I'll click on the move tool and then Ctrl J to copy the A7 layer once again. A new layer will show up. I'll drag the rectangle in the new copy to the right and place it nicely next to the first A7 rectangle. The two new layers will be rectangle 1 copy and rectangle 1 copy 5. I will now select both new layers in the layer panel by clicking them both while holding down the shift key. Then I'll hold down Ctrl and press J three times, in order to create three copies of the double A7 rectangles. Now I'll drag the new layers, two at the time down and place them nicely next to the A6 rectangles. I'll start with layer copy 11 and 10. Then 9 and 8. And so on until all four double A7 rectangles are placed nicely next to the A6 rectangles to the left. Now my picture package is finished. I'll double click on one of the layers with a smart object. This will open a dialog box for choosing color profile. I'll press OK to use the embedded profile of the photograph I'm going to choose for my print. The smart object opens. And I'll go to File and Place Embedded. Then I'll find the photograph I want, and then press Place. I'll resize my photograph to cover all of the colored rectangle. There should be no colored area visible anymore. Then I'll click on the fly leg to confirm the transformation. At last I'll close the smart object and press Yes for saving. Now my photograph has appeared in all rectangles in my picture package. I can now save and print the package. Naturally I shall cut out the images before presenting them for my customer. Thank you very much for watching.